So originally I called this video resources when I was uh, creating the outline for this section, but I realized that that was like too vague and that a better title for this video would be all HTML tags and attributes and all CSS selectors. I need to change that right now. Selectors and properties. So all CSS selectors and properties. So that's what we're going to learn in this video is I'm going to give you access to a really great resource, a couple of really great resources, which are going to list out all of the tags, all of the HTML tags, all of the attributes for those tags, all of the CSS selectors, all of the CSS properties. So HTML is the structure of the document. CSS is the formatting. And then the structure, we're going to know what elements we, we need to know, which elements we have to choose from. That's where we'll see all of the elements right there. We'll need to know different attributes and what attributes can we use. So we could go research those attributes here. That's a little less important than this one. You'll reference the elements, but then when you find an element, you'll just go read about that element. But it's also good to have this link to all of the different attributes. We'll take a quick look at that. And then we'll see all of the CSS selectors. And we aren't going to learn all of this stuff in this one video thoroughly and in depth. You're just learning that this resource is here. But throughout the course, we're going to use these resources to learn a lot of the stuff that's on that are on that is on this page. All right, so the selectors, all the CSS selectors, and all of the CSS properties. So if you remember, CSS does the formatting. We have a rule set. The rule set has a selector or selectors, and then a declaration block. And inside that declaration block are declarations. And each declaration has properties and values. So these are all the properties. And the different properties we can use, we've seen a lot of them. Width, height, background color. Those are all properties, CSS properties, right? Here's the rule set. Here's the selector. Here's the declaration block. These are all declarations right here. Each declaration has a CSS property. So width, height, background color. Color changes the color of text. Font size changes the font size. We're going to learn a new cool one, border and border radius. So those are some new properties we're going to learn. But this video, we're going to see all the properties. So let's take a look at that stuff. So here are all of the HTML elements, <laughs> right? And you can see them all listed right here. And there's a couple of interesting things to point out. The list is kind of long. I think there's like 100 or 110 or 125 that are like the ones you currently use. A lot of these things have trash cans next to them which means throw it away. And if you look, it says obsolete. So we don't use that one. Some of them have like, you know, a little flask next to them, which means you're only drunk if you use this. <laughs> it means it's like science. It's in the laboratory. It's still experimental. And so if you're wondering, hey, can I use that? You would go to caniuse.com and type in picture. And you'd see that only 69.85% of browsers support that tag. Right, so okay, that's a little bit too experimental. Only 69% of people will be able to see it. Some of them have a little exclamation point. This one's got all three, <laughs> right? But here's an exclamation point for no BR. <laughs> Maybe they need a no BS tag. That'd be a good one. This feature is non standard and is not on standards track. Do not use it on production sites facing the web. It will not work for every user. So that's a pretty strong, you know, recommendation. So exclamation points, thumbs down, trash cans, right? Science flasks. Those are all, uh, when you take those out, there's a lot less in here. Uh, blink. I'm, un I'm sad that the blink tag has gone. That was awesome <laughs> back in the day. It was crazy in a really cool way. All right, so these are all of the HTML tags. You could click on any of these to learn about them. So I could click on a side and go learn about a side. We will be using a side. Or I could read right here, they've broken them into different categories, right? So content sectioning, we'll be spending a little time here dealing with content sectioning and figuring out how to do the footer, the header, you know, the main, the nav, that kind of stuff. And we've already seen that right? In the beginning, when I was talking about structuring your document, we saw a couple of images that do that. So there are all of your HTML elements, all of your HTML tags, elements, tags, use those words interchangeably. And then we have all of the HTML attributes. So this is just kind of an interesting resource just to scroll through. Like we were looking at href and it tells us that href is good for the anchor tag and the link tag. 
right? Okay, cool. And also area and base, but we've seen it with anchor and link, the href attribute. And then we also saw the source attribute. And here's the source attribute. We saw the source attribute with image. Well, it also works with audio or with video, right? Or some other things, input. So the source attribute would work with those. So here you could come through and you can look at these different attributes. So that's also a nice handy little deal. Not super valuable, but kind of valuable. This is super valuable. Normally I don't like W3 schools. They are a, a suspect uh, a resource, not always accurate, accurate most of the time. But I really like their CSS selectors page because it goes through and it lists all the different selectors. So the selector we have been dealing with is an element selector, like just select this paragraph or select multiple you know, elements, select divs and paragraphs, right? And so here we had a side and footer, select those two elements or select this element article or select this element section. So those are element selectors. You're selecting an element on your page. And uh, there's also a class selector, and you saw the class selector in action when we were doing something. I can't remember what. I had the class happiness and code comments, absolute URLs. I can't remember where I had it. Anyhow, the class selector, uh, we'll see that in action. We'll also see the ID selector. We've seen the everything selector, right? So the star. And then there's a few others. Like we've learned about uh, sibling right here. So it selects all elements that are placed immediately after, right, that are siblings. Here are children. Selects all P elements where the parent is a div element, right? So that's the children. We saw that with Emmet. Uses some similar notation to CSS to do the Emmet stuff. So that's all of your CSS selectors. And then here are all of your CSS properties. And, uh, and when we scroll through these properties, some of the ones we've learned so, so far, width, height, background color. So here we could see uh, background color, right? We could also just do background or background image. And so here are these different CSS properties we could use. We're going to look and see how to use border. And so these are all of the different CSS properties we can use to style our web pages. There's width right there. We've used that. We've also used color right here. If we click on color, we could go read about it. it. Sets the foreground color of text content, so changes the color of text. So anyhow, here are all of your elements, all of your tags, all of your attributes, all of your CSS selectors, and all of your CSS properties. And these are resources which are really good to reference as you continue learning HTML and CSS.